Fires, Ty, let's take a talk about uh, those wildfires burning in the high country only April and you're probably thinking it is way too early this season and you're right already two major wildfires burning in Arizona. One of them, the tunnel fire near Flagstaff has now forced hundreds of people out of their homes. Well, winds are causing this fire to explode inside. So here are the, late, the latest numbers that we're getting into the newsroom. Nearly 17,000 acres have burned so far, currently 0% contained. It's believed two dozen structures have burned. Another 250 are threatened at this hour. So right now, Highway 89 is closed in both directions near the fire. So folks heading to Page will need to detour. Coconino County has declared a state of emergency in that area as well. Yeah, and a big thank you to Nick and Caroline for sharing your videos with us because it gives us an idea of what you're experiencing uh, there outside of Flagstaff. This map gives you an idea of where the fire is burning. So those areas outlined in green, those communities have been evacuated. The areas in yellow, residents are being told to be prepared to evacuate. And there is a shelter at Sanawa Middle School. The fire is burning in a northeast direction into the Antelope Hills hiking area and Sunset Crater. So that gives you an idea of where this is located. Danielle Miller has been covering this fire in Flagstaff all morning long. She joins us live now from Fort Tut Hill, where a shelter uh, for animals is now open. Hi, Danielle. Good morning. Yes, so uh, hundreds of households still under the evacuation order there. So uh, the Sanagua Middle School, that is for uh, people to go to to seek shelter. Uh, a lot of those people do have animals. We're talking horses, dogs, anything like that. So Fort Tuthill, that is the place where people are being asked to bring their animals if they need some uh, sort of relief here. We're talking to uh, Charlotte here. She's kind of uh, manning this area. She's with the Coconino County Humane Association. Uh, what have you guys seen so far since this fire broke out? Well, Fort, Fort Tuthill is the place for livestock. Um, dogs and cats, domestic animals can go over to the main shelter. Um, it's 3501 East Butler. So we're seeing a lot of livestock owners coming in um, that have neighbors have lost their home. They're running from that blaze. And, and so we've seen, we got 19 in last night. Okay. So 19 horses, horses okay. about 30 sheep, some goats. So it's pretty scary. Yeah, it's a massive operation out here. Uh, what is the mood of the people coming here uh, to take their their livestock here? Relatively somber, a little scared, you know, not knowing where to go. Um, several of them you'll see around. Several of them are camping, staying with their horses. So, and the horses are pretty scared too. So last night we had some late night horses come in and they they couldn't even see to load the horses. The smoke was so bad. So yeah, it's and pretty how much scary. room do you guys have here? Uh, what's already not taken up here in the shelter? We have plenty of room. So we absolutely have plenty of room. And I know there were some false things coming in yesterday that was saying that we were full. We are not. So we've got plenty of room. Uh, Fort Tau Hill and the county has provided plenty of room out here. And they'll, if you choose to camp in the campgrounds, they don't charge. So. And what about staff and volunteers with you guys? Is this kind of a all hands on deck situation with you or? Absolutely, yeah. So all the employees at the Humane Association are on deck and ready to accept animals. Um, so we do get a lot of uh, volunteers. We have volunteers here today feeding horses, um, taking care of some of the animals so the owners can just just relax for a little bit. And one more time, uh, dogs, cats, they can go to that main shelter. Can, can you obviously tell us uh, where we're at right now here too, if anybody's watching this? Correct. So we're at the county Fort Tuthill. So these are the, the county facilities um, and any type of livestock from chickens, if you can get your chickens out, <laughs> from chickens to horses to goats, they Perfect. can come here. So. Thank you so much, Charlotte. We appreciate your time and uh, all of your hard work out here, especially with the volunteers as well. So, yeah, plenty of room here. Livestock is definitely being accepted here. Uh, the main shelter campus there can have dogs, cats, anything like that. So a lot of help uh, is here if you need it. Guys, we'll send it back to you. All right, Danielle reporting live this morning from Fort Tuthill with all that information. Thanks, Danielle.